I read all my magazines, I did the crossword. Who's the dumbest of them all? We've got the answer right here. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 dumbest animated TV characters. I'm going to be the defense attorney! No! For this list, we're focusing on the most unintelligent, most brainless, most dim, and most dumb characters on some of our favorite animated shows. But. Dumb as they may be, we still love them all. Ah, this is never gonna work, damn cow. Cleveland, what am I doing wrong? You gotta get her running before you start running. Number 10, Cal, undergrads. Look, everyone, I made an ostrich. Cal from MTV's undergrad series is tall, blonde, and handsome. Ah, Nick, what does promiscuous mean? He's a hit with the ladies, who don't seem to care that there's not a single brain in that pretty little head of his. Good thing I never slept with any of my lady friends. We just played a little game I like to call unprotected sex. Cal is oblivious to pretty much everything. That makes him a perfect foil to frat boy Rocco, whose dislike of Cal is blatantly obvious to everyone. Steve, you sucks! You guys are wussies! Check it out! I'm beating the crap out of your mascot! Except Cal. Hey, guy. Cal? Don't give away my secret identity, guy. Number nine, Beavis and Butthead. Here I come. <laughs> come. <laughs> Dumb was taken to a new level with Mike Judge's iconic Beavis and Butthead. This dude is androphonous. <laughs> you said penis. <laughs> the title characters are two teenage slackers and would-be delinquents. Social misfits with no compassion, they classify under the categories of either cool or sucks. Really? You want to talk to me? Wow, that's cool. Let's go to the mall. I know this, this great new sucks. place. Yeah. <laughs> Beavis is marginally more intelligent than Butthead, but we're talking microscopic differences here. Quick, quick, I found another dead rat. <laughs> you asswipe. I was about to have a wet dream. Number eight, Fry. Futurama. Hey, who's this guy? I'm the janitor. I'm trying to take a nap here. I'm sorry. I, I thought you were made of wax. I am made of wax. What's it to you? I mean, I thought you were one of the wax robots. Is there some reason a robot made of wax can't take a nap standing up in the middle of a bunch of wax robots? Or does that confuse you? Being dumb doesn't keep a character from being other things. Philip J. Fry from Futurama, for example, is about as dumb as toast. But he's also caring, simple, and appealing. In my time, we didn't depend on high-tech gadgets like you do. We didn't need a mechanical washing unit to wash our clothes. We just used a washing machine. But make no mistake, he is dumb. If you think bad luck can defeat me, then you don't know my name is Philip J. <laughs> Fry may not always be on the ball. However, he still manages to come through in a pinch, sometimes. <laughs> Besides, it can't be easy when everyone around you has 1,000 years more education than you do. There, finished. See? Wouldn't it work better if the wheels were round? It's my invention, we do it my way. Number seven, Stimpy, The Wren and Stimpy Show. Oh, listen to me, man. I'm your friend. Don't you know cartoons will ruin your mind? Stimson J. Cat, the Stimpy of Ren and Stimpy, is a mindless but basically pleasant cat. I may not be the president, I may not be the Pope, but as long as I have Gritty Kitty, I shall never mope. His trademark vacant stare and dopey smile, complete with tongue lolling out of the side of his mouth, tell you that there's no one home upstairs. Stimpy proves that ignorance is bliss, although for those around him, like Ren, it's not always quite so blissful. Okay, let's check your blood pressure. Well, that looks normal. Number six, Pinky, Pinky and the Brain. Poisonous plants, bloodthirsty carnivores, the stench of decay permeating the air, Actually, I rather like it. it. Smells just like an airwick solid. Nerf! 
Life for a genetically modified lab mouse can be pretty good, if that mouse happens to be Pinky of Pinky and the Brain. No brain, we'll make dungarees! Oh, yes. And then we'll fly on our magical pants to the planet Slacks. Ooh. Not. Exactly what those scientists modified isn't quite clear, but it sure wasn't his brain. He's basically empty-headed. Still, that doesn't keep him from being happy, carefree, and caring. Don't worry, brain. Two simple words that will make it all better. Hakuna Matata. And on occasion, Pinky's irrational mind actually comes up with some good ideas. Brain, are you pondering what I'm pondering? We eat the box? No, brain. We build a boat and then we eat the box. Number five, Ed, 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 and Eddie. Dorks, get out of my backyard! Where? Kevin already has a clubhouse here. Shut up, Ed. Ed, with only one D, is the brainlessly happy-go-lucky member of the Ed, Ed, and Eddie trio. What's hey. happening to Ed? Hey, guys! Help! Oh! They're, oh! They're trying to... Oh, get my great book! Ed's as strong as he is dumb, which means you really don't want to mess with him. But he's also kind-hearted, good-natured, and never knowingly misuses his strength. Fix him, Ed. Read him and weep! Oh, my! A daydreamer, Ed has a tremendous love of comic books and monster movies, and an unfortunate fear of soap. Yeah, Mr. I wish I was a smart pants! Number 4. Billy, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy Hey, what you trying to do? Suck my brains out? The friendly yin to Mandy's cynical yang. Billy of the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy is about as nice a guy as you could care to meet. Don't worry, new buddy. I'll get you all sorts of brains. That doesn't stop him from being stupid. Intensely stupid, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Gross. They're like you. It also doesn't stop him from causing trouble. Inadvertently, of course. Also, it's a good idea to avoid mentioning clowns around Billy. Just saying. Uh, 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 uh. Number three, Chris Griffin, Family Guy. My name is Chris. I'm supposed to be on my best behavior tonight and not mention poo. Oh God, what have I done? Family Guy is overloaded with idiots, but Chris Griffin manages to win the stupidity prize, barely, over the not-too-bright likes of Mayor Adam West and Peter Griffin. You're a good pimple, dog. After all, this is a guy who gives names to his pimples and sticks army figures up his nose. Ow! Oh, now I don't know math. It's tempting to call him as dumb as a rock, but truth be told, a rock may actually be smarter. Well, that's fine, but I don't see how that affects... What? Number two, Ralph Wiggum, The Simpsons. Look out, Ralph! Ah! I found a moon rock in my nose. Homer Simpson may be a complete moron, but even he outpaces little Ralph Wiggum in the brains department, though not by much. Slow down, Bart. My legs don't know how to be as long as yours. Ralph's high-pitched musings reveal a brain that functions, if that's the word for it, in a totally random manner. Is that normal? He's kind of chaos theory made human. Whether gluing his head to his shoulder or running in a presidential primary, Ralph can be counted on to bring inanity to a new level. Compassionate. Tough. Curious. These are all words Ralph Wiggum doesn't know. But he doesn't need to know them. He lives them every day. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Hey, excuse me, mister. Have you seen a gorilla hiding anywhere around here? A gorilla? Hmm. Uh, refresh my memory, babe. What exactly does a gorilla look like? Well, they're... Uh, uh, they're, uh, they're big. I didn't know you'd have to leave me, too. We didn't know that either. Apparently, the other thing I'm chock full of is not knowing stuff. The Louvre is the most incredible place in the world. The Louvre is an art museum? I thought it was a mall. Maybe it's down that dirt road. Oh, dude, don't you remember where it is? I can't remember. It all looks the same. Hold on, let me get high. Then I'll remember where it is. All right, so where is it? Where's what? You okay, Rainbow Jack? Anything I can do to help? No, nothing. In the name of 
of Celestia to sit there and do nothing. My bad. Number one, Patrick Starr, SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, pretty light. Nobody could ever call SpongeBob SquarePants smart, except in comparison to his best bud, Patrick Starr. Dear Patrick, your mom and I are coming out tomorrow for Starfish Day. Please try to remember, but don't try too hard or you'll hurt yourself like last time. Love, Daddy. SpongeBob, my parents think I'm dumber than a sack of diapers. Patrick's not just dumb. He's also slothful, lazy, and lacking in social graces. But it's Patrick's stupidity that really stands out. Whether he's forgetting how to eat, creating new words, or confusing condiments with musical instruments. No, Patrick, mayonnaise is not an instrument. Horseradish is not an instrument either. Patrick stands out as the dumbest cartoon character on TV. Whoever's the owner of the white sedan, you left your lights on. Do you agree with our choices? What other dim-witted cartoon characters should we have added to this list? For more enthralling top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Don't forget to brand <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst character ever, Tally. I know.